Hi, Mr. Levine. Uh, I'm Trey Joyner. I've been trying to, we've been trying to get in touch and everything, and we just haven't been able to yet. So I thought instead of maybe having you on the other line of Skype, which can be tricky, I thought I would just send you a note of thank you uh, for the opportunity, and also uh, just to show you my classroom. I'm actually answering an email right now from you uh, for tomorrow's uh, uh, interview. Uh, anyway. I wanted to show you a few things. Uh, I've got one of the things I do in science is an interactive notebook. Uh, it comes from uh, History Alive and basically has a left side and a right side of the table of contents. And uh, basically the things with it, the left side the students are in charge of, the right side is more of uh, what I give them and help them with. So they get part of it from the book and they get part from their own knowledge and for from their own from like graphic organizers taking and pictures off the internet things of that sort. I've got uh, another student that's going to show you more of that in another video. Right now we're working on uh, moon phases in that interactive notebook. The job that I'm applying for is uh, with science and math. Uh, every day we are working with science and math, uh, especially with astronomy. Right here uh, is just uh, similar triangles in space, looking at eclipses and looking at uh, similar triangles and, and working with the geometry. So every day is a different, uh, math is very much a part of what we do here. Uh, let me just walk you around the room a bit. We do not have air conditioner here, so it, it does get hot. The windows are open. The, uh, the fans are usually going pretty hard. And uh, But this year what we did was we we put together a, a set of tables that can be moved around. And what we've done with it is basically been able to move it around as needed. I do teach English and science. So therefore, during science class, I may need a bigger area like this for, uh, for dissections or for, for big lab work, also for, sci uh, for English and in science, we do a lot of uh, collaborative collaborative grouping and we do a, and so everything I do is usually formed around some kind of grouping and working together. They tend to love it, they tend to do well with it. Uh, the cabinets in the back have been a, a great plus. Uh, LCD projector uh, at the time right, right now does not work but you know it's uh, uh, one of those things here uh, just like the lights going out and things like that, uh, the internet being slow. It's Part of the challenge is here you not only need a backup plan, but you need a backup to the backup plan. Uh, I spend a lot of my time as far as when I'm doing direct instruction. Uh, I do a lot of that from here using the, the board and the projector. Uh, and then I just basically, I move around a lot to try to, to help them out with, their, with whatever work they're doing. Uh, it's uh, usually an active classroom. Just keep the very simple, keep the, their assignments on the board here so that they know what's homework. Homework is there. Also upload it onto the internet so that they can see it there. Parents are, can keep up with that as well. I have the same five rules for the past three years. So for the students that have had me for two years, it is very simple. I just, I just tell them rule number one and they know exactly what rule that I'm talking about. Over here, if you would, uh, it's just uh, dissections, uh, things that we're, we're doing. Uh, every, we're dissecting seven organisms this, uh, this year in life science. Everything from a clam to uh, crayfish to grasshopper to frog, of course. And uh, within all that, they have, of course, their interactive notebook and a nature journal that they are working on. And so with, with each and everything, it works out very well. They're able to keep notes, keep track of what, what's going to be tested on. And my, my students do an excellent job of like trying to make it their own. So that is just one, one little thing that I wanted to share with you. Uh, and this is it. This is me. This is, my, this is my passion. And I'm just looking forward to being with a group of students or, uh, that, that want to learn and I can motivate, but also I'm really excited about being with a group of teachers that want to grow with me as a teacher and basically to, to try to work together for some 
and do some amazing things. So I really thank you for the opportunity. I thank you for just the willingness to, to be patient with all of the things going on. And uh, I, I look forward to the opportunity to talk to you more in depth about all these things uh, and that I am excited about. Thank you for your time, and I appreciate uh, all that you have done, and, uh, and have a good day.